Hey, what's going on guys, Dignal here, and uh, today's video I'm going to be showing you how to uh, how to decrease your editing speed by up to 50%, alright? So, uh, what you're going to want to do for this is just watch this fucking 30 second tutorial, everything is vanilla, you don't need any plugins, and uh, yeah, so I'm just going to set up this clip really quickly to show you guys sort of uh, what I'm doing, so I'm just going to add some velocity here, um, it's yeah just very quickly I'm gonna add some velocity and uh, just like that and I'm also going to add a preset and that took what maybe 15 seconds uh, something something like 15 seconds as you can see it looks like that very cool and uh, now what I'm gonna show you is just how to copy everything in this and just apply it straight onto another clip now uh, the, this is used to sort of uh, circumvent the need to split everything and then add presets and then, you know, add the velocity, uh, stuff like that. So what you need to do to just copy everything, it's extremely simple, all right? You just go to your clip where you want the same effect and you just mark where the kill is and you go back the same amount of frames as the uh, the preset requires. If you're, if you're the sort of person who just splits the clip on the kill, you just need to do it on the kill, but I, I need to go five frames back for my pre shake to work. So I go five frames back, and then what I do, I just press on this. I press Control C, and I go on this. I right click and I paste event attributes, and as you can see, it just adds it automatically. I don't need to you know go into presets. I don't need to fucking do do everything like that. That takes a lot of time. I don't need to add velocity either. It's just a very, very easy way to, uh, to, to do really quick highlight editing. Uh, now I would recommend if you, um, if you end up using this in your highlight, I would recommend you set up a workflow around this technique, right? Uh, and what I mean by that is that you do all the effects first and then you do the, uh, the transitions. Because if you do this with the transitions, you're gonna end up copying the transitions as well. And if you do that, then uh, you don't really get a say in how the flow looks and uh, it may take up more time than you're saving. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this quick tutorial. And uh, if you did, you know, make sure to leave a like, uh, definitely subscribe, you know, it, it helps out the channel a lot. And I'll catch you guys in the next one and peace.